Okay, I'm here at Convict Lake, about ready to start my hike. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. The lake is pretty much frozen over. I'm going to start the hike on the south side and do it in reverse from last time. And uh, I'll have to put on my spikes for sure because it looks like there's a lot of snow on the north side, which is to the left here. So I'll talk to you all later. Okay, on the south side of the trail, and you can see it's actually pretty nice. There's a few snow patches here. Um, it's getting cooler though. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But it's still a gorgeous day. Still on the south side, but apparently there might have been more snow since I last read about this. I think I'll have to put on my spikes pretty soon. It's getting a little slippery and the sun's out, so the snow is a little slushy. So I think I might stop here and put on my spikes. All right, I'm uh, not too far from the end of the lake where I start to circle to my left. Uh, it's actually just a really gorgeous day. A lot of snow on the mountains. I expect it to be a little cooler on the other side where it's all shade and more snow. So here's looking back towards the start. So I'm at the end of the lake and about ready to start circling back, head back to the car. The lake completely frozen over, but I'm pretty sure I won't test to see how deep the ice is. So I'm heading over where is normally a wooden bridge over a little creek. But as you can see, there's not a lot of bridge. So uh, something different that we see in the winter. All right, almost around the bend, circling back counterclockwise. Should be getting to the uh, heavier snow part. All right, now on the, I believe it's the north side of the lake, and this is definitely a lot more snow here. I have to figure out exactly where the trail is now. Not as easy to see. Okay, just finished one of a, a few sketchy parts here. You can see is just a lot of exposure. Uh, it's only about a 40, 50 foot tumble if you slip off that side there. So I have to be careful. Still on the north side. I got through the mostly sketchy part. This looks a little bit better here. A little bit flatter footing, but definitely I see and have to be careful. All right, this is the much better part of the trail. I don't actually have to worry about whether or not I got a fall at the reach down. So, should be pretty smooth the rest of the way, and uh, I'll see you in a few. All right, on the last stretch, maybe uh, 10 more minutes at the most. Pretty flat here. During the summer, this is the bike trail. Nice wide bike trail, but I guess you could uh, do some snow biking here. But uh, we're almost done. Okay, awesome, I'm finished. It's about uh, two and a half miles. Uh, went slow, there were some sketchy parts. Luckily I had my uh, ice spikes and uh, poles. Uh, definitely needed on the last part of the, the trail. Uh, it's about two and a half miles, like I said. It took a little over 50 minutes. But then of course that's stopping to uh, take a lot of pictures and talk to a few people. I do that sometimes. Anyway, uh, I had a great time. I'll uh, share some pictures at the end of this video.